was going to do, guys. I was um, in. I went to this um, Marley Mall today. It's fun to go to the mall, I guess. I was going to plant stuff, my mom and I, but said it was a severe thunderstorm watch and warning in some places, so we did not go. But um, when we didn't do it, but the mall was fun. I love malls, man. And um, a few movies I saw them to be notified when they become available. I just saw them today, and I'm putting the link up to them all, but as well as the ones I picked to um, be notified about. One is um, Rescue Business 4K. A high school senior's life gets turned around when he meets a sexy call girl who transforms his house into a brothel while his parents are away. So that sounds like something interesting. The other one is called um, Farewell My Concubine. I thought that was interesting because I, it's a foreign one. Farewell My Concubine is a movie with two parallel intertwined stories. It is the story of two performers in the Beijing Opera, Stage Brothers, and the woman who comes between them. At the same time, it attempts to do no less than squeeze the entire political history of China in the 20th century into a three-hour time frame. So, that wasn't confusing. I don't know what it will be. <laughs> the last one's called Perfect Days. A janitor in Japan drives between jobs listening to rock music. So, I don't know why. I mean, that doesn't really seem that interesting to me, but I don't have to buy it, man. I just wanted to be notified. And then I also pre-ordered um, a couple books. One I already had. The first one's called The Letters We Keep. Two students world all oh, two students, worlds apart, unite to solve the mystery of a legendary decades old love story gone tragically wrong in a captivating romance by the award winning author of The Karma Map and Dating Doctor Dill. I'm not gonna read the rest of it, you guys can read it. That's just a big tag. And the other one's called My Favorite Terrible Thing. The world's most famous Arthur author has vanished. A thrilling hunt of mind games and twisting suspense begins with a detective oh, sorry, when a detective sees evidence written into her novel. So who I feel kind of weird, man. I was um, I had a protein drink today that was like um, it was um, a high chocolate one, low carb. Then I had a curried coffee thing. When I got home I had a curried coffee. I just feel jittery, man. I don't know that. I feel like that. And the other one, which I already got before, and I think I talked about, called the Alone Time, but I already gotten it. It's actually on sale for one ninety nine. I don't know what I paid for when I got it. That's the oh pre order price. How do I already have it? Maybe I already pre ordered it. I don't know. For two sisters, confronting the past could come at a terrible price in a riveting novel about family tragedy and family secrets by the number one Amazon charts bestselling author Ellie Marr. So, ooh, <coughs> there you go. Interesting things, I guess. And um, I might have said this already, but I have clothes. I tried to close it. J.C. Penny. Some Saint John's Bay. They're pretty comfortable, man. I found some I like, but I'm not gonna upload it right now because I guess I could. <coughs> Short video is like 16 seconds, some or less than that, because my mom was out there and I didn't want to waste her time. Let's just keep let's keep seeing the air in it, man. I keep squeezing it out. This stuff I got from Amazon Prime before it's um, <clears throat> this 5D puzzle. If you ever had 4D, imagine it's one more. And um, <coughs> so you know, cool. So that's uh, all I want to chat about, man. Love you guys, man. Thanks for existing, really.